One family in Columbus came close to losing more than just their house. NBC 15 Zach Nugent spoke with family members today. He has their story. All throughout Columbus, you can see down branches, down trees, but really it's this home that seems to have been hit the hardest. And the family that lives here says they're lucky to be alive. This is my granddaughter's room, and I'm so thankful. I didn't have her because she would have never made it. This is what's left inside of Lori Caldwell's home of 10 years. Her granddaughter was not here, but her two sons were. I saw a flash of lightning, you know, and then a big bang. At that time, I had no idea there was a tree in the middle of our house. So I curled up to try to avoid if it was going to hit my room, and it hit my room. The crashing is what woke Austin up. I got up. And I was shouting that I couldn't see because it was dark and it started raining in my room then and the insulation got in my eyes. The tree just missed landing on him. Part of it went through the floor into his brother's basement bedroom. I mean, it's only about that far down there, but uh, it definitely did. It went through my brother's room and missed his bed by about two feet and went down into the basement. Although they believe the house is a total loss, the family is staying positive. We just take it one step at a time from here. We all walked out without a scratch. So yes, it's a wonderful day. Again, miraculously, no one was injured here. And the family says, of course, things can be replaced. People can't. And today, they are counting their blessings. Reporting in Columbus, Zach Nugent, NBC 15 News. The Red Cross has been sent to Columbus. They've set up a disaster relief center at Columbus Middle School. The shelter will remain open overnight.